Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, let us help you change your life today. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones, friends, family members, workmates today. You can reverse any health challenge if you just know a couple of things. You just have a couple of, just a couple of strategies. It's really not that difficult to reverse chronic degenerative disease. We talk about it every day on the bright side. If you have questions, 844-236-6010 about how we can help you, we want to hear from you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have, uh, if you want to purchase any of the longevity products or if you want to uh, sign up to join the Brightside Ben team, please head over to brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our truth treatment products, head to truthtreatments.com. Check out our retinol 5% gel, truth serum, truth balm, truth omega-6 healing cream. I formulated them to be healing products. You know, when you think about it, anti-aging is healing. If you can't take your wrinkle cream, your favorite wrinkle cream, and put it on a cut or a scrape and accelerate the healing of that cut or scrape with your wrinkle cream, your wrinkle cream's not working. You know, a lot of times people say, well, I don't know if my anti-aging product's working or not. Well, here's how you tell. Put it on something that needs healing and see how fast it accelerates the healing. If it accelerates the healing dramatically, you got an anti-aging product. If it accelerates the healing a little bit, maybe not. Probably not. It could have something to do with just the moisture, or it could be just just a coincidence, just the timing of the healing process, which was going to kick in anyway. But if you got dramatic healing from your anti-aging product, then you know you got a good anti-aging product. And folks, that's exactly what you're going to get with our Truth Serum pro- our Truth Treatment products, including Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Retinol 5% Gel. You can find out all about it at truthtreatments.com. I also have a skin health blog up at truthtreatments.com. Also, my Facebook page, The Truth With Ben. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Try to call in early if you have questions so we don't have to... We don't have to leave. Uh, we don't have to leave anybody hanging at the end of the program. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We're talking about the commonality behind the common factors behind chronic degenerative diseases and how you gotta make distinctions. This is so important. The idea of making distinctions in the body, in the skin, for example. We look at the skin. We don't make distinctions, so we just smear stuff on the surface of the skin. But if we were making distinctions, we would see the skin has layers. We would see the skin has moisture factors built into it. We would see that the skin is made of cells. We would see that there are areas that we could work with our skincare products to get the results that we want. This comes from making distinctions. When it comes to keeping the body healthy, if we saw that the body is made up of cells and then stuff coming out of the cells, this would give us control. This would give us power over how we handle our body. We would know that we would need to somehow nutriate or support the health of the cell so we could have better stuff. But we got to make the distinction between cells and stuff. Most of us, if we're sick, we just think about the organ that's sick. We don't think about the cells. We don't think about the stuff coming out of the cells. Another thing that happens if we make the distinction between cells and stuff or between cells and organs 
and this is, this is really important, is we'll know that our problem is not at the organ level. Nobody has Alzheimer's disease. We got brain cell disease. Nobody has heart disease, uh, uh, cardiovascular disease. We got heart cell disease. Nobody has liver disease. We got hepatocyte, liver cell disease. Nobody has uh, irritable bowel syndrome. We have enterocyte, intestinal cell problems. We have to treat the cell. And the good news is the cell only needs a few basic things. Now, another very simple thread that runs underneath or as diseases is inflammation. Inflammation is the body's iconic protective response. Inflammation is Latin for setting a fire. And the body uses a wall of fire. Technically, that's what's happening. A wall of fire from a, from a I should say metaphorically, that's what's happening. A wall of fire is being built around a wound or built around some area that needs to be quarantined or built around some area that needs to be protected and supported. That fire is what we call inflammation. So inflammation, it sounds like, would be a problem, but it's not. Yes, it's true that behind or as, not behind, as all disease, you have inflammation. Inflammation is almost synonymous with disease. Not quite, because there's a few other things happening, but it's a big part of it. Does that mean, though, that if we're dealing with a health challenge, we need to be suppressing inflammation? We need to be taking anti-inflammatories, anti-inflammatory drugs or anti-inflammatory herbs or anti-inflammatory nutrients? Or does that mean the fact that inflammation is behind all health challenges or inflammation is all health challenges, that we've got to somehow shut down inflammation? No, absolutely 100% not. Yesterday, we said inflammation is the body's equivalent of, the, of your car's air safety bag. If you keep getting into a fender bender, if we, if we keep hitting the curb or hitting a fire hydrant or hitting other cars and our airbag keeps deploying, would the intelligent solution be to have our airbag deactivated? Well, no, that's a doctor solution. That's the medical model solution, deactivating the airbags. But common sense tells you that's silly. Unless you're, unless you're sell, uh, somehow... Uh, uh, selling uh, car parts and you're making money from the car parts, why would you take your airbag out? Fix your driving. Drive better. If you got inflammation in the body, you don't suppress inflammation. Eat better. <coughs> Excuse me. Live better. If we have a fever, does that mean we automatically have to take an anti-inflammatory or, or uh, the symptoms of a cold? Fever sometimes comes from inflammation. If we have the symptoms of a cold, the inflammatory symptoms of a cold, does that mean we've got to run and go get Tylenol and aspirin? By the way, if you're taking Tylenol for the flu, you might want to reconsider. Last month, researchers uh, from Aust uh, New Zealand or Australia, I forget which one, New Zealand or Australia, announced that uh, a, a Tylenol, a acetaminophen, compared to a salt pill or sugar pill, does not reduce fever and has no effect on your flu. And, of course, you're also going to be exposing yourself to medication, which Tylenol is relatively benign. But still, you know, do you know, acetaminophen poisoning, acetaminophen is the chemical name for Tylenol. I'm not sure if I could keep saying Tylenol. I don't want to get sued by Tylenol. In the pharmacy business, we abbreviate acetaminophen APAP, A-P-A-P. -A -P. So if you've ever seen that on your... On your chart, APAP, -A -P, that's acetaminophen. Anyway, acetaminophen, APAP, Tylenol, that's, a le that's one of the ways, that, uh, that's a cause of death. Overdose, anyway, on Tylenol is one of the significant causes of death. It's a poison. It needs to be detoxified. There are, you know, do you know that there are 50 million chemicals out there, according to the Chemical Abstract Service? That's an agency that registers new chemicals as they're invented or, or as they're discovered. 50 million. We're interacting with 50 million chemicals. And some of them, a lot, uh, probably 100,000 of them are used commonly. And none of these chemicals existed a mere 200 years ago. The human body evolves over the course of millennia. 200 years is nothing. Our body has had to figure out how to somehow deal with 50 million new chemical entities. And you know what? The cool thing is, it's done it for the most part successfully. That's a miracle. That's one of the class. That's one of the classic miracles of human bio of, of all biochemistry. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. You are listening to GCN. 
Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time in the a.m. In the morning, we got uh, our programs are all up uh, archived. Five years going on. Five years now I've been doing this program, I believe. Yeah, it'll be five years in March. Five years of programs at uh, ben, uh, BenFuchsArchives.com and also PharmacistBen.com. And you can purchase Longevity products off the website as well. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. And you and I can help change the world. We can help. And I'm not being, uh, that's not hyperbolic. That's not exaggerating, folks. When we change the world's health, we'll change the world. And that really, that's how important this, me- this mission is. And that's what we talk about here every day on the Bright Side. The good news about how easy it is to reverse chronic degenerative disease. Before we went to break, I was saying how we, by the way, our number 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. Before we went to break, I was saying how there's 50 million chemicals out there. And they didn't exist 200 years ago. Yet the human body, the bio, the detoxification system in the body has figured out how to detoxify all of them. We can detoxify every single chemical. The problem is that there's so many of them, and we're interacting with, with with such tonnage, tons of the stuff. That's the problem. It's overwhelm. It's not the fact. It's not that we can't handle dioxin. It's not that uh, we can't handle pesticides or nerve gas or prescription drugs. We can handle it fine. That's a miracle, folks. These things didn't exist 200 years ago, yet the body, because of its amazing ability to adjust and evolve and change and get better and bigger and stronger has figured out how to handle all of these 50 million chemicals. To the cells of the body, there's two kinds of chemicals, only two. There's the kind that it can use, and there's the kind that it can't use. There's a kind it can use for chemistry. And by the way, when I say to the body, I mean to the cells of the body. Remember, we've got to make this distinction. The cells of the body can either use a chemical or they can't use a chemical. The ones that can be used, we call those nutrition. We call those nutrients. There's not a lot of them. There's about 90 or so of them. The ones it can't use, there's 50 million of them. The ones it can't use are the ones we call poisons. And that's why I call drugs poisons, because cells can't use drugs. Let me say that again. Cells cannot use drugs. Take that to your doctor. Cells cannot use drugs. They can only use nutrients. Anything a cell cannot use is, by definition, a poison. By definition. Whether we're talking plutonium, or whether we're talking pesticides, or whether we're talking Plavix, or your pharmaceuticals, or nerve gas, or sunscreens, by the way. Sunscreens are poisons in that regard, too. Most of the, most of the crapola we put on our skin, in uh, our skincare products, qualifies as a poison, because cells can't use it. You think your cells using silicon? No. You think your cells using vegetable oil? No. You think your cells using preservatives or fragrances or, or waxes or, you know, the water, whatever's in your skincare product? No, no, and no. There's only two things a cell can use, and this is why I formulated my truth treatment products, by the way. There's only two things a cell can use. Vitamin C and vitamin A. And some people will tell you peptides, but I have my doubts. We can throw those in. Let's throw in peptides. Peptides, vitamin A, and vitamin C, but certainly vitamin A and vitamin C. Everything else is considered, by definition, because a cell can't use it, a poison. And the body's response to poison is protection. It's f- no, number one, it's protection. Number two, it's detoxification. Protection is what we call inflammation. Inflammation is a protective response, and it's one of the most miraculous processes in all of biology. Every time we're inflamed, we should get on our knees and praise the Lord. Because it is an absolute miracle how the body protects itself through this inflammatory process. Again, the problem isn't the inflammation. It's the fact that it's always being activated. The problem isn't the airbag. The fact is that it's always kicking in. It's always exploding. So you don't take out the airbag. You don't suppress inflammation. You drive better and you eat better. The detox system, by the way, runs on nutrition. The detox system is made up of cells, liver cells. Your liver cells are technically called hepato. Hepato always means liver, like hepatitis. Hep. When you hear hep, you're talking about the liver. Hepatocyte. Site means cell. A hepatocyte is a liver cell. A liver cell has this mind-blowing, I mean, 
absolutely staggering 